Let's get right to it. Many people have this over-glamorized view of working in machine learning. I'll be brutally honest with you. It's not that glamorous. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. It's mostly meetings and data cleaning, and those two aren't really a ton of fun. All right, let's go over what a project looks like. Firstly, the process is the same for all projects. Machine learning is very process-oriented. You follow the same core steps every time. They are project definition, sourcing and cleansing your data, modeling and tuning that model, and then lastly, putting that model in production. When you get hired by a company, you don't decide what projects you're going to work on. They decide what projects you'll be working on, and it's up to you to implement what they want. Here's how that works. For this video, I'm not going to focus on deep learning projects. They comprise a very small number of real-world projects, and the sourcing and the cleansing part is a little different. Most real-world problems are classification and regression on structured data, like 95%. So that's what most of you are going to be doing. And that means that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. Step one, you'll have meetings and lots of them. The business will have tons of questions and you'll need to answer them. Most of my initial meetings are helping business stakeholders understand what machine learning models can and can't do. I'll often give them the dog and pony show and the machine learning pipeline and then answer questions about that process. Once the project has been defined, you'll need to source your data. The data will most likely come from relational databases. If you're lucky, it'll be in a data warehouse. Sourcing data means bringing all your data into one data set. Once you source it, you're going to need to clean it. I'll start by downloading a small subset of data from the data store where the data is housed. You won't need a lot of data to figure out the cleaning process. If you don't know what data cleansing is, head over to LogicBot and get learning. These are the first three steps, and they're about 90 to 95% of your job. Data sourcing and data cleansing are around 80%, and the meetings are around... 10% or more if you're unlucky. After your data is sourced and cleansed, you'll need to model it. Now, keep in mind, you'll need to cleanse that larger data set first before you model it. That means taking what you did on your laptop on that small data set and doing the same techniques to your data at scale. Next, you're going to need to choose a model. Well, you don't really need to choose a model. The top model for all classification regression problems are gradient boosters, so that's what you'll use. Once you've tuned and tweaked your model, you'll test it on fresh data. Fresh data is data the model has never seen. The end goal for every machine learning project is a model that makes predictions on fresh data or data it's never seen. Once you're satisfied with the model, you either put it in production or you'll have another dev group create an interface for the model. For example, let's say your model is going to be real time. That means the data is put in by a user and the model's feedback to them is immediate. No sane company is going to let you code the front end for that model. That's not your wheelhouse. Now, if it's a batch job, then that might be on you. A batch job is where you take the data, feed it to the model, and then get the results of your data. You then dump those results somewhere the business can access them and consume them. Once your model is in production, you start the process all over again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day. We'll see you soon.